Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to create coordinates in Roblox Studio. The coordinates I'm talking about are the ones that will display your X position, Y position, and Z position with a number. And a lot of games do this, like Minecraft, and a lot of Roblox games also do it. Uh, it's actually pretty simple to do, so let me just go ahead and get started. So, you want to insert a screen GUI and just name this chords. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it chords. And then a text label, name this display like that and you want to set the size of this text label both of the offsets to zero so it'll like be good for all screens and i'm gonna have it like this because basically what i'm gonna do is have it show x the number drop a line y the number and then z and then the number uh you can do it however you want though i'm gonna set the background transparency to one that text scale to true and make sure reset on spawn is on for this one. Now in here you want to in the in the text label you want to insert a script and this will just be called update. Let's define a few variables. We're gonna need the player, the character, the human root part, and the update time. And then we're also gonna need a function to update the ver uh, the coordinates. So local player equals game dot players dot local player local character equals player dot character or player dot character added weight so this will make sure it waits before the character is added and let's do local humanoid root part equals character wait for child humanoid root part 10 and this 10 will basically make it wait up to 10 seconds before it finds it so it doesn't just throw an error out if it doesn't find it right away and we're gonna do local update time. And this would be the time that the coordinates update every time you're walking. So like, if I set it to five and I walk, it's not gonna update until after five seconds. Usually you want it to update instantly, but whatever fits for you. I'm just gonna set it to 0 0.01. So it basically updates instantly. Now we wanna create a function that will get the variable, I mean, get the coordinates. So it's pretty simple, just do local update chords equals my bad local function update chords like that and all we have to do is just get local x equals math dot floor number root part dot position dot x so what this does is basically gets if I don't, if you don't put math.floor, it's going to give you like a big number. Math.floor will give you the, the smallest number that it can. And that'll just be our X position. Local Y equals math.floor. And then just change this. Just do the same thing, but change the last number. I mean, the last letter to the coordinate. And local Z equals math.floor. And then human root part position Z. Now we want to return these uh, coordinates. So we just do return x, y, z, and it'll return them to when the function was called. Now we get to the part where we actually display them. So you want to do while wait update time do. So it'll wait the update time before it updates the coordinates. And then you want to do, actually before this, you want to type Actually, yeah, in here, I'm going to type local chords equals update, no, local x pos, y pos, and then z pos equals update chords. Not update time, update chords, like that. So, it'll get our variables that it returns, which is these coordinates right here. And we can just call them like that. Now, we just want to display them. So, we can do uh, script.parent.text equals x colon space x position like that so it'll it'll put an x a colon a space and then the x position concatenate it again but this time in this string we're going to put a backslash n space y colon space this backslash n will drop a line so like i said i'm going to have it go x y and then z like that so this backslash n basically drops a line in a string concatenate it with the y position and then the same thing one last time drop a line 
do Z, Z, and then concatenate it with the Z position, like that. Now let's go ahead and play test this. And you see it will display my, display my coordinates right here every time I move around. So, um, my Y position, my Z position, X position, it's all accurate. If I delete the base plate and fall through it, my Y position will go negative until I die. It should be negative 5, 10, which is what I have the thing set to. Yeah. So fallen, depart, fallen parts destroy height is negative 500. This just shows 510 because it's my humanoid root part. And it's like a little bit lower than the actual rest of the stuff. So it'll show 510 instead of just 500. Um, and as you can see, it resets it. That's why, that's why you have to have the reset on spawn set the true because if you die and this is set to false then it won't reset it and it'll just be stuck like that um i'm gonna leave the model in the description below if this video helped you out at least a little bit you can join my discord server and ask for help there and yeah